Com. Larry Elder explains what the deep state is all about. The um, obsession to get this man. The president has been shot. That's what I heard over the PA system at South Hill School 56 years and about three hours ago, exactly 56 years ago today, JFK was assassinated. And uh, so I guess this is a where were you? Do you know where you were when uh, that happened? And then you'd have to be, that was 56 years ago. You'd have to be, I don't know, 63, 65 to have any real memory of it, I guess. Maybe a little younger than that. But uh, I went to an all-boys Catholic school, Lawrence's Spanish class. And the PA comes on, and it's Brother Alfred. He's the principal. And he says, the president, I have bad news, the president has been shot. And everybody in the class thought it was Ferb Gannon who had been shot <laughs> because Ferb was the, uh, the, the, uh, the student council president. And um, the way he, nobody, nobody could even imagine that the president of the United States had been shot. And everybody was going, Ferb, somebody shot Ferb. Why would anybody shoot Ferb? And by the way, I ran into Ferb a few weeks ago, and he's doing fine. But uh, that's what I think about when I think about, um, you know, what happened on that day that, uh, that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. And we got out of school early. We left. And but w when I think of the weekend uh, was 56 years ago, it started on a Friday and it was Sunday morning that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was shot and killed on live television. And it was the replay was used. That was the first uh, replay was only uh, introduced, I think, a couple of months before in a, in a football game for the first time. And so they used it to show the replay of him being shot. But to me, the most amazing thing about that weekend, looking back on it now since I've worked in the media, you can go on YouTube and look up Harvey Oswald with the press. They brought Harvey Oswald out. He, he had assassinated the President of the United States uh, a day earlier, and they brought him out, and the media were firing questions at him like he was a football coach, and he was answering and they let him. They let the they let the uh, the the the, the uh, media ask him questions. I don't think they had any food out for the media like they do for uh, press conferences now. But Lee Harvey was standing there and he was answering questions. And then it was the next day that they brought him. Out. All they had were cops. Uh, that was 56 years. Now. Actually topped himself. He's the guy who hit Mason Ruth. Well, by waiting a few days and then playing race card at your hearing to appeal the suspension. He said Rudolph used a racial slur while they were on the ground, which is actually worse than hitting Rudolph with a helmet. Nobody with a brain believes him, and Ro Rudolph was asked about it. Do you feel that you instigated or said anything that escalated this incident? Definitely didn't say anything. That's to keep my composure in those situations. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it was an, it was an unfortunate situation for, for both teams involved. Well, if Rudolph had used a racial slur, does anybody on the planet believe that Garrett wouldn't have said so 10 seconds into his uh, post-game interview? So for the second week in a row, Miles Garrett of the Cleveland Browns is the Windows R Us Jerk of the Week. The Jerk of the Week is brought to you by Windows R Us, Pittsburgh's premier exterior replacement company. Expert repair and replacement for windows, roofs, siding, doors, gutters, and downspouts. By pay double. Visit windowsruspittsburgh.com.
Confusion. Go offer some of the most innovative solutions to benefits to cut your out of pocket. Amazon or these other places. Help someone else find their comeback story. To become a monthly partner or make a gift, visit lightoflife.com. Not only do we have great grills, but also the best hot patio. heater that you can get. The Broma heater perfectly in backyard and restaurant red grills. Learn about these amazing Three bucks plus free. Go to Harry's Doc. This is the John Stone. Well, know that this could. Baseball, uh, about the poor things when since it opened in 1995. So I kind of have to go back in the history there. Um, at, at that time, I was working for the newspaper, and I actually was the editor of the special section. Uh, nine, two thousand. So we've had the tiger right there, you know, one of the. on where you were you were close to the field and Uh, there's a lot of and the movers and shakers mm -hmm. so this is considered the entertainment industry we also have G League team uh, they have Playing in Erie while the Pelicans in this build. We have baseball, hockey, and basketball.
happening. There's the, the, the economic So the figures yesterday we or maybe some other Yeah, one of the other things I said to they're getting experience if they want to go into people are employed there all together. I'm a part-time usher. Uh, it's a capital grant from the state, which these for that. What do I want to say? way in getting this at all. This was just the infrastructure. You know, there's some, some right. coming in. Let's make sure that we bring it up to the that the ball players would expect and that read, because I've been trying to read as much as possible about this whole contract. I mean, well, there's a bunch of different things going on there, as I'm sure you know, in terms yeah. of like not And I don't know what those words. I guess one of my you 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 added fiction of sweets and and so a lot of. Is Allen. She's a member of the Erie Sea. Twelve million dollars in in state. Well, the reason, the reason I bring that up yeah. is that that there's that that's that the people in all over the state have an interest in this because Erie, uh, the Erie Seawolf. in Pennsylvania. Curve. I feel that uh, Penn State has the last one you said would be losing it, the state college one? Y yeah, the the people of uh
this ballpark, uh, operating on the good faith uh, If you think that uh, next year, uh, we're talking about eliminating, right? Um, the team I was. On, on the bunch you. So I, I don't know, just it, it um we don't care if you think Here. We don't care about you guys. Basically, that's two and I. Um, <laughs> The same people who signed up. Funding bill, which said that. Uh, I think what the. Uh, what that letter said, if I have it correct, is that um, the, the leverage that, you know, at the federal level that they have is challenging the antitrust, um, you know, the, the monopoly steps that, that MLB enjoys. So For too long, maybe that's what will happen. Way. I don't yeah. know, though. I'm no yeah. lawyer. So yeah. I'm certainly no, no uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm no ballpark lawyer, but one of my friends, her uh, baseball uh, uh, specialist at Notre Uh, and the politicians did it. Everybody else. not going to get very good players. And it I retired uh, from the newspaper, and he used to say to me, because, you know, newspapers have gone through challenging times. Right. Trying to think, okay. for this and
orphan. This. I want a trial. You know, I could think I can. Former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. Investigation into the early days of the FBI's Russia probe. On Wall Street, the dot by 109 points. The Nasdaq rose 13. The S&P advanced 6. Oil down to 57.77 a barrel. This is SRN News. Are you tired of owing back taxes to the IRS or state and have increased the success of the Fresh Start Initiative programs, but this won't last long? The tax problem solvers have set up a direct line for a free qualification. Call 1-800-928-7418. Put this number in your cell phone, 1-800-928-7418. You'll be given the opportunity to speak to tax experts that will analyze your tax situation and explain how you can reduce and even eliminate the debt. Ignoring the IRS is not an option. And doing so puts you at greater risk of collection enforcement, such as wage garnishments, liens, and bank levies. If you're currently on a payment plan, have unfiled tax returns, or have been denied in the past, new guideline changes may make it possible to qualify now. Make sure to ask us about our free six-step guide to reduce your taxes. Call 1-800-928-7418. Again, that's 1-800-928-7418. Dr. Sebastian Gorka wants to know, where are the Republicans? Imagine if the GOP had fought half as much, as aggressively as the Democrats have for the last three years. If you would add that to what the president has achieved by himself, mm -hmm. where would we be today? What are they picking up their paycheck for? America First with Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Afternoons at 3, right before John Steigerwald at 5 on AM 1250. The Answer. The day after Thanksgiving, feed your soul. Join Amen to Action as we come together for the third year to sing, pray, celebrate, and pack over one million meals of hope for the hungry. It's Friday, November 29th at the Convention Center. Doors open at 8 a.m. We think we'll break last year's record. We know it will be a lot of fun. To register for the event or make a donation, go to Amen to Action. And college students, and one of the things that came up a lot when I did my research was this issue of students spoke a lot about how, even though they know that they're supposed to be using of social media, they feel um, two students drop. they were really nervous but they were also like ready and so I mean they really gave them up we locked them away in pub in a safe in the public safety department on our campus wow. for the whole week they they helped us so the head of public safety like it was very
this because Mm -hmm. I think it's really one of the most important skills students can acquire for college right now. You know, smartphone rushes that we get when us to spend more and more time on these platforms and, and on our phones. And so What you told me is really kind of disturbing. And what bothers me is that how is it that this is allowed to go on in any school in America? If anybody knows that this is how much kids have become dependent on phones, why wouldn't why would they allow any kid to have a phone on campus? No, not call. I think there's a way in which everyone all sort of feels helpless in the face of all of this. It happened so fast. And we all scrambled to try to make Wi-Fi everywhere and have everybody have these devices because that's where we thought the world was going. And suddenly we're realizing they're not as good as we thought they were. And I think, you know, it's very, very hard to, um, you know, to go backwards. And so then the question becomes, we have to remember, I think, as a culture that we, we do have some control over this. Like, we can make decisions even if they're hard. We just have to decide to make them. Well, wow. Professor Donna Freitas at Delphi University, I really appreciate it. That was some great stuff you just uh, gave us there, and also pretty disturbing, I think, to anybody who has a kid. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for having me. Okay, we'll be right back. They blow into town with the wind, rain, and hail. And out-of-town storm chasers going door-to-door, often posing as a local company, offering a quick fix to desperate homeowners. If you've had damage to your roof, windows, you be eligible to get them replaced or repaired free of charge. Just be careful who you call. Visit WindowsRUsPittsburgh.com for a free inspection from one of their highly trained appraisers. With over 50 years in home remodeling, Windows R Us is the area's premier exterior replacement company for roofs, siding, gutters and downspouts, doors, and of course windows. If damage isn't your issue and you just want something new, you'll love their no-pressure approach, no hidden fees, and one of the fastest times in the industry. A company who will never skip town when it comes to honoring their warranty. Visit WindowsRUsPittsburgh.com. Mention STAG for an additional 10% off. Windows R Us, proud sponsor of the Jerk of the Week, heard every Friday on the John Steigerwald Show. WindowsRUsPittsburgh.com. Like the rest of us, you're probably tired of all those annoying sales calls to your home telephone number. Now, there's a solution. Our old number.com will block those pesky robocalls from getting through and most live sales calls will hang up. So how does it work? Callers to your home telephone number will hear a personalized greeting from you, 
The caller selects the family member they wish to reach, and the call is immediately forwarded onto the family member's cell phone. There's no equipment to buy, there's nothing to install, no long-term contracts. It's still your phone number and remains in directory assistance. The service is only $9.99 per month, and you can eliminate your landline connection and save money. Now, calls to your home phone number can reach any member of the family wherever they are and get rid of those annoying sales calls. OurOldNumber.com. It's just $9.99 per month. Go to OurOldNumber.com to learn how you can get started blocking sales calls today. A traditional inner spring. Spent without their. Really, we're really excited because. Of their phone telling them how to get there. Uh, we're not capable of making their way to the place where they go to school without the assistance of that thing that they carry in their pocket that tells them everything that they should do. Now, if you don't think that's scary, uh, and uh, because you know sometimes your some days your battery's going to die, or you're going to lose your phone, uh, to to think that. The, their phone. What's not real is what is going on out you for listening and I'll talk to Yins on Monday. Bye. John Steigerwall Show is from Ed Salem Media Group. Are you willing to go through another season with cold and drafty windows or